Hey what's up guys in this video we're going to talk about the unique constraint in structure query language the unique constraint ensures that all values in the column or field are different or unique like an example inside the employee table we have added the unique constraint to the field id that means the id field can only allow to have all the different or unique values inside it like here we have the employee table and inside the employee table we can make the id to take unique values by using the unique constraint similarly also we can add the unique constraint to the name field this way the id and the name will only allow to have all the unique values inside it and also we can add the unique constraint after the table has been created by using the alter table statement so we have to write alter table then the name of the table and then we can add the unique constraint to one particular field like in example we have created the table employee now after the table has been created we can add the unique constraint to one field by using the alter table statement so we have to write alter table then the name of the table employee and then we have to write add unique and then we have to write id this way we are adding the unique constraint to the field id now also we can add one name to the unique constraint and also we can add the constraint on multiple columns by using the alter table statement so we have to write alter table then the name of the table and then we have to write add constraint then we can give one name to the constraint and then we can add the unique constraint to multiple fields of that table like an example we have created one table employee now to add the unique constraint to multiple fields of that table we have to use the alter table statement so we have to write alter table then the name of the table and then we have to write add constraint and then we're gonna give one name to the constraint I'm gonna call it u emp and then we're gonna add the unique constraint to the field id and name so in this line of statement the unique constraint will be added to the field id and name of the employee table that means the field id and name can only accept unique values now to drop the unique constraint we have to write alter table then the name of the table and then we have to write drop constraint and then the name of the constraint that we have created earlier like an example earlier we have created the um constraint and applied the unique constraint to the id and name now to remove that constraint we can use the alter table statement so we have to write alter table and then the name of the table employee and then we have to write drop constraint and then the name of the constraint which is um so this line of statement will remove the unique constraint um from the id and name so this is the way we can add the unique constraint to one field in the table and by doing that the field will only accept all the unique values so hope you understand the concept we'll see you in the next one thank you